All right, folks, we are back on My Fitness Pal 101. We have learned how to add a basic food from the database. If you didn't watch that, just track back to the previous video on My Fitness Pal, how to add a food. Today we're going to talk about creating a recipe. So if this is your home screen, again, we're on a PC versus the app. So the app looks a little bit different. I, I wouldn't suggest trying to add recipes on the app. It'll just be a little cumbersome. But from this home tab, we want to go over to food. And then you can see on the sub menu here, we're going to pop into recipes. So the quickest way on this is to use this recipe URL, which we We'll just copy from a website if we found a great recipe online, and then it will help match our ingredients. So I'm just going to scroll over here. Skinny Taste is one of our favorites. So we entered this air fryer chicken um, this week. Let's go and find us something else yummy. So let's just try something kid-friendly. That's always a fan favorite. So let's just say we're going to make some spinach lasagna rolls, get our kiddos eating some veggies. So what you want to make sure of when you get to the recipe that you would like to add, and wow, that looks really great. We want to copy this. You can either control C or you can just highlight it um, and right click to copy, but control C or command C on a Mac. And then we pop back over to our tab and we're just going to paste it right in that box. So again, make sure the extension is the name of that recipe. And we're just going to click import recipe. What that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and pull each ingredient. And then we want to match those using the database. So we want to go ahead and match those ingredients. And the key is you need to scroll down and make sure you've got a check mark, meaning that they found a match. So you can see here this lasagna noodle for whatever reason didn't match so we just want to make sure we find those let's just say wheat lasagna noodles and then find what you had so assuming that you had let's just say you're a Kroger shopper these are Kroger whole wheat lasagna noodles right and you're going to use two and a half pieces dry that's a serving and you're going to go one all right, that's probably not for the whole recipe. Let's go ahead and say you're going to use a container. It asked for nine, so let's say we're going to just go to one, right, and then enter nine so that we'll make sure we're as specific as possible. Now let's go. Okay, yay, we matched. So everything should be matched, but let's just say you're not going to use ricotta. You decided you want to cut a little fat out of there. You're going to use some non-fat cottage cheese. So you might just put fat-free cottage cheese and good there's a Kroger brand again so look at that we are going to enter the portion and go ahead and put one ounce so we want 15 total ounces so we just drastically cut our fats there added a bunch of protein so the key is when you import, you want to scroll down and make sure that what is entered here reflects what you actually plan to use. Because if you make any preferences, uh, preferential adjustments based on what your kiddos like or what your family likes, you want to make sure before you build the recipe that it actually matches how you're going to prepare it or the macros will be a little bit different, right? So there is that. You can go ahead and save that. To your database so you can see it right here awesome and then let's say you already know you're gonna make that tomorrow night and you want to just pop it on in your log so you can log it there or if you want to wait let's say you go back to your food diary you're gonna scroll forward to tomorrow so once you choose and where excuse me where you want to add that and you click add food Rather than going into here with your previous frequent foods or recent foods, you want to just pop over to recipes, and that'll parse out that recipe. So you can look, okay, cool, there's the spinach lasagna roll recipe. We're going to just check mark that. If you need to adjust the serving, 
let's say you're actually going to have one and a half servings because you just really love this recipe, go ahead and change that, and then there it is. So that's a really good little balance there, especially with that adjustment on fats. And you've got it already logged for tomorrow. So that is one way to do recipes with the import tool. The other option would be let's just build one manually. So let's just say you want to add it manually because it's a, just a home recipe that you enjoy. It's not going to be online anywhere. So you can just name it. Let's just say Tips Chili. And I'm not going to enter all the ingredients, but you really want to be as detailed as possible. So let's say you use 93% lean ground beef. You use kidney beans. You use those yummy Rotel tomatoes. And let's go ahead and match. So we're going to enter our serving. So it makes four servings in a pot. Tips chili for serving up, didn't find that. So let's go ahead and just put ground beef, 93%, see if that gives us better results. There we go, Kroger ground beef, and we're going to use a full pound of that. Get that entered there, awesome. Again, if you want to be more specific, you can always go here. They did two cups of canned kidney beans, but if you did, let's say you like the low sodium, then you can always adjust that. Bush is low sodium. Let's just say you're going to put one container. Again, make sure you always pick the unit of measure and the total quantity. So if you did two containers, you'd want to make sure to adjust that. We've got one there and we matched it. Awesome. So our three ingredients, obviously an incomplete recipe here, but let's just say all that looks great. Check it out. This makes sense. And then we're just going to save that in our database. So again, here you go. If you get crazy and want to put a picture and all that good stuff, you can. But again, when it's time to log it, you'll find it in your recipes. So that's a quick tutorial on recipe building and I think it's really helpful if there are things that you make a lot to go ahead and just take some time up front to build them in. Then the day of, you're not sitting there trying to build the recipes, cook the dinner, get the kids settled. You've got it in there because you know you're gonna at some point make the chili or the soup or the homemade pumpkin pie at the holidays. So. Get used to the recipe function, make your life easier. All right, guys.